is going on people it's me jc one of the best reaction youtube beginning after the end 157 cub now first of all the cub i didn't know it was a cub i thought it was a full-grown bear it looked menacing it looked like it had like fire going through its veins going towards his chest i was like okay arthur's in for a fight and i was halfway right arthur was definitely in for a fight but it wasn't from a full-grown titan bear it was a cub and so me number one i didn't even notice that the cub was talking i i read the, the 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 bubble and i was like that's a weird bubble for it this thing you know what's talking in his head you know we're seeing what he's thinking it was like no the titan bear is actually talking and it's just the cub but for some reason this cub is waxing arthur i mean my god arthur did not stand too much of a chance with it like until he got serious like hey he punches and it's knocking the like my wind out of me i'm bre i'm bleeding out of my mouth breaking ribs the he has fury swipes might as well be a pokemon i'm like okay what is going on with this little cub so arthur finally dispatches the cub finally kills it one punch of course is all it takes but it's a very strong punch from what he's learned from everybody else and everything is, he's learned since been the Ephiotis. but a very strong punch it wins him comes down and he says hey this is a cub why are you having trouble with the cub even a full-grown 10-foot titan bear shouldn't have gave you this much trouble what's going on matter of fact he is doubting arthur completely which you know what as an assurer i understand that it these things shouldn't be too difficult for arthur but sometimes he's making it more difficult he looks at this titan bear and we have a demon leech and i said okay he was taken over by a demon leech even the Asura themselves are like, hey, these things are deadly to us. We stay away from them. We, we don't want nothing to do with them. We kill them on sight. This thing makes the host stronger. That's why the Titan Bear was stronger. That's why Arthur had such trouble with it. And Arthur actually defeated it, which actually went to himself. It was like, okay, that's, that's a depressive feat on, on its own. Like, hey, I can't believe he actually beat it. And then to go on with it, we get the information that this is what Agrona has been using to infect and make the people of Zyrus or anybody else that has that, you know, blood symbols down their spine stronger. This is what happened to Lucas. This is probably what happened to Good Scott. These demon leeches, whatever serum that he makes from them, enhances them to the point of that their at least mana manipulation is way stronger but the side effects are death that we found out but it is very good information that we got and then here's the here's the thing right the biggest and most interesting thing from the chapter was that when he killed this leech he took out an elixir pearl now we're not going to talk about the fact that he didn't clean that thing off where he got he got it out of the leech and then put it in arthur's mouth he's putting balls in his mouth pause but he puts an elixir pearl in Arthur's mouth. You can see his core resonating with the pearl. Now, first of all, I thought, I thought that Arthur already had an elixir pearl that was given to him by Winsome. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Maybe I'm just remembering something horribly wrong. But we don't, as they said in chat, we don't exactly know that every pearl acts the same or every pearl is as strong as the one that Tess got that moved, that pushed her core level to the brink of the initial silver stage. We don't know that if, if different pearls do different things. This one's kind of a bluish hue. The other one's kind of a rainbowish hue. We don't they know if they do different things. So maybe this is making Arthur's core level stronger. Maybe this is just making his, his mana um, veins and whatever stronger channels and, and veins stronger who knows what it's going to be right but at the same time we have this mysterious woman at the end of the chapter who is she is that maybe sylvia's mom sylvia's grandmother maybe maybe not maybe it's just somebody from the royal family but why are they not in the castles we have to ask who is she going to be to Arthur? Is she going to train Arthur? I, so many things that we just don't know. But if Arthur, you know, got core level stronger, he's going to be in the silver. But if not, I'm very interested to see what happens to Arthur and what that pearl dick. He's going to wake up 
and he's awake now i'm gonna feel something different once he kind of gathers his bearings a little bit hmm i don't know but i want to know what you guys think in the comments down below do not spoil you don't have to do that okay if you don't if you're a, a webtoon only just go ahead and throw some theories out there if you're a light novel reader you can throw some some some, some truths some not truths but don't don't spoil it for me anyways it went anywhere in the world but you're here with me and i appreciate that i will see you guys on the next one peace